hi it's Fisher from soulmate welcome to my channel if you want to see how i make this boxy crop top with kimono sleeves please stay tuned be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos and make sure to turn on your notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload new videos let's get into it now You will need your basic bodice block to do this. I've got a tutorial on this channel on how you can make one. I'll leave a link in the description below and the link above as well. So this is a crop top and we're going to trace around our block to the waistline. Marking the dart as well. Lift your block. Draw in your waistline. Now adding my hem allowance, 2 centimeters, and I'm going to extend it a little further at the side seam. Now putting in my plan, I'm going to lower the center front by 1 centimeter, widen the neckline by 6 centimeters, go up at the shoulder tip by 1 centimeter, and at the underarm we're gonna go out 2 centimeters and down 4 centimeters. Applying these changes down one centimeter at the center front widening the neckline by six centimeters and joining these two points with a calf ruler like I'm doing going up one centimeter at the shoulder tip put a mark now draw a straight line like I'm doing here joining it to the neckline Going out 2 cm and down 4 cm. Put a mark. Square a line up from the hemline to this new point. Now from this point at the shoulder tip, we're going to measure for our sleeve length. Mine is going to be 15 cm. Put a mark and square another line further 2 cm for the hem allowance for the sleeve. Now square a line down, and square another line across like I'm doing here. Square the hem allowance down as well for the sleeve, which is 2 centimeters. And just draw a nice curve here at the underarm. We're not going to use this pointed edge and this outer edge for the neckline. Now adding our seam allowance for the neckline, which is one centimeter in my case, you can use whatever you want. Now drawing in my neck facing, which is four centimeters from the seam allowance, all the way around, squaring at the shoulder and at the center front. Get a fresh pattern paper and put it under your pattern. So we're going to be tracing this facing piece with the tracing wheel like I'm doing here. Get your pattern piece out and cut along the pattern following through the tracing wheel marks that we put there already. Now labeling the center front and adding the grain line parallel to the center front and labeling the pattern piece front facing cut one on fold plus one fusing on fold as well And I put my initial so the center front is going to be on fold now cut around the pattern and the center front is going to be on fold adding the grain line to the pattern piece parallel to the center front Labeling the pattern, 
and top cut one on fold and I put my initial just extending my hemline there and adding notches to the pattern so our front pattern pieces are finished now we're moving on to the back Trace around your block to the waistline since it's a crop top like we did with the front. Lift your block. Draw in your hemline and draw in your hem allowance which is 2 centimeters. We've got a zipper allowance on our block of 1.5 centimeters, so we're going to trim it off because we don't need it on this pattern. We're not using the darts in this pattern because it's a boxy top. So we're going to lower the center back neckline by 2 centimeters, widen the neckline 6 centimeters like we did with the front, go up at the shoulder tip 1 centimeter out two centimeters and down four centimeters at the underarm so let's apply these changes two centimeters down six centimeters wide neckline with your kept ruler join these two points now adding the neckline seam allowance one centimeter Going one centimeter up at the shoulder tip, put a mark, connect this point to the neckline with a straight line and extend it a little further. Measure 15 centimeters from the raised point for our sleeve length, square a line down, go two centimeters further and square another line down for the sleeve hem allowance. Now two centimeters out and four centimeters down at the underarm put a mark square a line down from this point to the hem allowance extend the hemline out square down for the sleeve length and square a line across as well like I'm doing here Way down the hem allowance for the sleeve which is two centimeters and throw in a nice cave at the underarm now drawing in the facing for the neckline like we did with the front four centimeters get a fresh pattern paper and trace on the neck facing Just lengthening the center back there and we're going to put it on fold and cutting around the pattern piece following through the tracing wheel marks. Adding the grain line parallel to the center back and labeling the pattern piece back facing. Cut one on fold plus one fusing on fold as well, and I put my initial. Cut around your pattern. So the center back is going to be on fold. Drawing in my grain line and leveling the pattern piece back top. Cut one on fold and I put my initial. Now adding notches to the pattern. And I 
our back pattern pieces are finished so all our patterns are finished now moving on to sewing now moving on to sewing our boxy kimono crop top what you need are your completed patterns your fabric and your cutting tools so for the fabric i'm going to be using this beautiful printed silk fabric so next we're moving on to cutting our fabrics So all our pattern pieces are cut and ready to sew. So the first step is for us to interface all our facing pieces. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so that's done. So the first thing we're going to do is to take our front and back top pieces, lay them one on top of the other, right sides facing. Pin along the shoulders and the side seams. So we're going to take this to the sewing machine and sew along the shoulder seams and the side seams and overlock everything. Whilst we're there, we're also going to take our facing pieces, lay them one on top of the other right sides facing as well, pin along the shoulders. And we're also going to go ahead and sew along the shoulder seams here and also overlock the whole bottom edge. Okay, let's go and do all that. Okay, now so that's done. We have managed to sew our shoulder seams and our side seams and overlock them. And we've also done the same with the facing pieces. We have sewn the shoulder seams and overlock the whole edge, okay? So now we're going to finish off our neckline. So take your top and turn it over to the right side. Now get your facing piece, make sure you know where your front and back is and we're going to start with matching the shoulder seams with right sides facing, okay? And pin along the whole neckline edge. Okay, now so we're gonna take this to the sewing machine and sew along the whole neckline edge with a one centimeter seam allowance. When we finish that, we're going to understitch the whole neckline. So what you're gonna do is to just roll your facing on top of the seam allowance here, which we have made, and then we're going to just give it a stitching on the facing side only, okay? So whilst we're there at the sewing machine, we're going to make sure to overlock the hemline of our top and also the sleeve hands, okay? Just overlock right round. Let's go and do that. Okay, now, so that's done. We've sewn on our facing to the neckline edge. We've clipped the neckline and did an understitching. And I went ahead and overlocked the edges of the sleeve and the hemline. I went to the iron and ironed everything down and also I ironed up my hem allowances for the sleeve and the hem. So now I'm going to go to the sewing machine and finish off my top. So I'm just going to finish the hems by doing a top stitching for both the sleeves and the hem. And I'm also going to give the neckline a top stitching as well for about 2 cm wide the whole way around. So let's go and do all that. Okay now, so our crop top is finished. We finished off the neckline, the sleeve hems and the hem here. Okay, everything is nice and neat and I'm so happy with the result. Thank you.